Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Larry Souter, and welcome to Stories of Amazing Grace. We're coming to you from Bixter Chapel at the Madison Church of Christ here in Madison, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us online. Some are watching on YouTube, Facebook, listening through Apple Podcasts, and by way of radio, and of course, for this live audience. Thank you for being here. Our theme scripture comes from Romans 8, 38 through 39. I am sure that nothing can separate us from God's love. Not life or death, not angels or spirits, not the present or the future, and not powers above or powers below. Nothing in all creation can separate us from God's love for us in Christ Jesus our Lord. It was three years ago, according to the website from Lipscomb, when Dr. Aaron Howard and 17 student singers came together to launch the Lipscomb University Gospel Choir. Since then, the choir has performed multiple times, has more than doubled in size, and their videos post have been viewed millions of times. Dr. Aaron Howard is the choir's director and teaches undergraduate and graduate classes in ethics. He has studied at Vanderbilt University, Fuller Theological Seminary, San Diego State University, and UCLA. Besides his interest in ethics and theology, he also enjoys riding his motorcycle. <laughs> Writing and recording music and watching action movies. So, ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Dr. Aaron Howard and the Liscom University Gospel Choir. Thank you. Let's find out a little bit about a little bit about how the choir started. Well, when I was um, being recruited to come to Liscom University to work as a professor. Uh, I had a conversation with my dean, and he was like, Aaron, what do you like to do? I said, I love gospel music, and I said, I love to start a gospel choir. And from there, um, they got excited about the idea, and when I came on, everybody supported me to, to get it off the ground and get it started. Did they give you a bump of pay, a little, a little raise for doing this, a little more money? No? <laughs> they did not, but <laughs> hopefully they're watching this. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell me about your motorcycle. What do, what do you ride? A Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. A.J. Wolf, do you know what that is? Any idea what that is? We have a motorcycle rider back here who plays Santa Claus okay. throughout the year. And tell me again, what is it? It's a Royal Enfield. It's an Indian brand uh -huh. um, in East, you know, from India, but it's, um, it's like a, what do they call it, a cafe racer type bike. Uh -huh. so, yeah. And what'd you pay for that thing? <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> it wasn't that expensive. Okay. Well, let's talk to a couple of choir members. Who would you suggest? Uh, Are we got any talk? Who? Who? Right here? Right here? Okay, who are you? I'm Juliana Roman. And why are you in the Gospel Choir? Because I love the Lord and I love the heart of Dr. Howard and uh, just how he ministers, but mostly because the Lord is good and he um, just uses his choir so powerfully. And yeah. That's good. Okay, who else can we talk to? Right here? Oh, yes. Why are you in the choir? What do you enjoy about it? Oh man, well, I'm in the choir because Dr. Howard came uh, my freshman year and was like, hey, we're starting this gospel choir. And I was like, that sounds interesting. Uh -huh. I might as well try. I showed up, I asked where the bass section was. He laughed in my face. Uh -huh. um, now I'm a tenor. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> what, what is your favorite song? Oh, mm, that's so hard to total say. Praise. Yeah. Uh, yeah, total praise. Total praise. We'll get there. Are you going to sing that tonight? I'll probably, I hope so. Okay. Are we? Well, we never know. All right. Take it away. Take it away. All right, all right. Are you guys ready to praise the Lord tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Before we begin, I just want to explain a little bit about gospel music. Gospel music came out of a tradition, you can trace it all the way back to slavery in America. And during that time, slaves used to go off on their own outside of the gaze of their slave masters. And they used to worship in their own way, in their own, by their own way, I mean, it was embodied. It was enthusiastic. They expected to feel the spirit of God as they worship. And so they would not worry about so much as the rational meaning of what they were saying, although what they were saying was scriptural and biblical. But because they were going through so much, they needed to be able to feel something. They needed to feel God with them. They needed God to not just be transcendent, but to also be imminent. 
And so during that time, they would praise God and clap their hands and stomp their feet. And they would be really enthusiastic and they would give everything they had to singing and worshiping God so that they could experience some hope for the future. Then that turned into what we call Negro spirituals. As people begin to get trained and go, through, go to conservatories, they took those songs, added music to them, and then you hear about the Fifth Jubilee singers and others that took this form of music around the world. But in the 20th century, it becomes popularized as this music is fused with blues, as it's fused with some of the popular styles of the day, especially in Chicago. A man named Thomas Dorsey is very prominent there who wrote the song, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, which was one of Martin Luther King's favorite hymns. And that's when you begin to, you begin to get the Hammond organ and the drums and all of the instrumentation that's a part of gospel music. It begins to be voice SAT, soprano, alto, tenor, so we don't have basses in the choir. And from that point on, it takes on a life where it becomes mainstream popular music. Some of you may have heard that song, Oh Happy Day. We're not singing that tonight, but that song was, was, came out around 1968, went all around the world and helped to popularize gospel. And then Andre Crouch, anybody ever heard of Andre Crouch? Yeah. Hero of mine, I was actually raised in the denomination that Andre Crouch is from. He wrote several songs like To God Be the Glory, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, and many others. And so from that point on, gospel has become really, really popular, and it's especially beloved in Europe. But here's the thing about it. You've got to participate in it. It's not a spectator sport. It's not, we're not performing. It's a dialogue. We're depending upon you to speak back to us, and we draw energy from you getting involved, and you draw energy from us praising the Lord, and we all praise the Lord together. So you're actually participants tonight. So I'm giving you permission to clap your hands. I'm giving you permission to move, stand up if you want to. Amen? Yeah. Amen. The Enlightenment taught us that in order to know God, we have to know God cognitively. Descartes said, I think, therefore I am, right? But God never meant for us to get rid of our emotions. God never meant for us to get rid of our affections. The theologian said, Religious affections are peace and joy, and those are things you can feel. Amen, somebody? Amen. You know when you have peace. You know when you have joy, right? Amen. And so he said, true religion also consists in those affections. So we want you to feel something tonight. That's, what, that's my way of saying that. Is that all right? We want you to feel something tonight. All right, so let's have a good time. You ready? Let's do it. Come on, let's bless it tonight. Come on.
like to help us sing tonight? Come on! Anybody want to help us sing tonight? Any young people want to help us sing tonight? Who can... Dr. Lee, who can sing over here? Who can sing over here? We need somebody to help us. tonight. Come on, Zara, help us.
Y'all like, the age is not that old. But to them, I was a kid in the 80s, but to them, that's ancient. We brought it back because it's been such a blessing to so many people. And this song just says, we are safe in the arms of Jesus. He will hide us. And it continues the theme of the last song, that we're safe in his arms. Anybody believe that the Lord will hide you during the storm? And say, peace, be still. Amen. So we just want to sing this over you. We pray that it blesses you tonight.
many of you love the hymns? Anybody love hymns in the, in the house tonight? We have to tell these young people not to forget the hymns. Amen? Clap your hands if you agree with that. Keep the hymns alive. We love CCM. We love worship. Something about those hymns of the church that inspire us, that move us, that contain sound theology. So let's keep these hymns alive. So we're going to sing one tonight that you may recognize.
We have a surprise for y'all tonight. Amen. You guys like surprises? A lot of people don't know this. Don't tell anybody. Can you guys keep a secret? All right. We actually do sing a cappella. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Can we do one tonight? Yeah. You sure? Is it all right? Yeah. All right, just don't, just don't tell anybody. But <laughs> we're going to do one tonight. We pray it blesses you. This is a song written by Richard Smallwood, one of the foremost gospel composers called Total Praise. And we're going to do the whole thing from beginning to end. A cappella. Amen? Pray for it. Where are the Sopranos in the house tonight? Where are the Sopranos? Raise your hands. All right, we're going to need you, Sopranos. Where are the altos? All right, tenors, where are you, tenors? Yeah. Bass, where are you? Yeah. Right, we're we're going to have you sing an octave down. This song, we split up the parts, and then we're going to make one mass choir tonight at Madison Church of Christ. Is that all right? Can we do that? Okay. Let's do it together. You'll see when your part comes.
our toes, this is your part. To the King of Kings and the Lord our God He is wonderful Oh, praise be to the King of Kings and the Lord our God He is wonderful Hallelujah 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 He is singing that together every tribe every tongue every nation every race all of the separation and division that we've had to go through that will be all gone and we will be united by the throne of the king of kings and lord of lords but what i'm so excited about tonight is the Lord said, when you pray, pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What's happening in heaven? Every tribe, every tongue, and every nation are bowing down before the throne of God and Jesus Christ, singing, worthy is the Lamb. And it looks like we have a slice of heaven right here in this room tonight. When I look around this room, I see every tribe, every tongue, and every nation, and we're declaring that the Lord is worthy. That's a reason to give God praise. Oh, come on, we can do better than that, Madison Church of Christ. That's a reason to give God praise. See, I see on the news, they're saying, you can't trust this political party, and you can't trust this race, and you have to have your own section, you have to have your own section, and the message from the world is that we're divided. But the message from Jesus Christ is that we're one in him. Because he said in John chapter 17, he said, I want you to be one even as me and the Father are one. So he said, my glory I have given to you that you will be one. 
You know what I love about that verse? He didn't say, I'm going to give you my glory. He said, I've already given it to you. The question is, do we have the will to do what the glory of God has already been supplied to us to do? Amen? Amen. How many people tonight say, we want to be one? We want to be like Jesus. Amen. Come on, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Well, this is our last song. We're going to get out of here. This is a new one. We just wrote this one. This is literally brand new. You're the first time, you're going to hear this the first time ever that we perform this publicly, that we've sung this publicly. And I just want to encourage you, this is for our young people. It kind of has a young, it has a young people beat. You know, they like to dance and all of that. So this is for my young folk tonight. But we can all get involved in it. But it's basically Ephesians 3.20. Ephesians 3.20 says, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you ask or think, according to the power that work is, that's working in you. To him be glory and honor, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. What is the power that's working in us? It's the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Ephesians 2 and earlier in the chapter that we are seated in heavenly places with Jesus. That might be Ephesians 1, but Bible scholars don't get me too bad. Amen. But we are seated in heavenly places with Jesus. That means that the Lord is with us so that we can fulfill and do his will supernaturally. If you're trying to do it in your own strength, amen. If you're just trying to do it with your own resources, your own gifts, and your own abilities, then you're not believing in God to the extent that he wants you to believe in him. My God is big. He's mighty. He's powerful. Amen. And he wants us to dream big dreams. He wants us to do great things for the kingdom. Amen. How many believe that Madison Church of Christ can unite all of Middle Tennessee in Jesus? Come on. Come on. Our God is able. He can do above all that we ask or think. We might as well ask. We might as well dream. We might as well believe. Amen. Come on, let's stand up on this one. We're going to go home on this one. Let's do it. Let's go. Do you guys know how to dance in here? Can we dance, choir? Let's go. Come on, move with it. Move with it a little bit. I see you, Alba. I see you. Are we ready? Come on. Now it's a hymn.
before we get out of here. Who can do anything? Exceedingly. work together to achieve justice in the kingdom. Amen. She's brilliant. Y'all know how smart she is? She's a brilliant woman of God. We just declare favor on your life tonight. With the same power that's working in you is the power of Jesus Christ. We declare favor over your family, favor over your finances, favor over your generations in Jesus' name. We declare there's a higher level of ministry that you have not yet entered into. Open doors in the name of Jesus. That what God has placed in you, we need to receive that. So we declare it according to the name of Jesus. So I need you to help me sing tonight. You gonna help me a little bit? All right. Say it like this. Come on, say it, y'all. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead is working. Come on. It's working in me. Same power.
We're done. Nothing is impossible. 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 God bless you. We love you. Thank you so much for worshiping with us tonight. We love you. Thank you, Larry. I don't know where he went, but thank you, Larry, for having us. We appreciate you. We love you for extending the invitation. And if we haven't made you upset, we'd love to come back again. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, are we on? Hello. Hello. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you so much. You definitely are ambassadors for Lipsim and ambassadors for Jesus Christ. You are shining the light, and we want to give you some more lights to shine. So pass this around, take one, and pass it on. Thank you for being with us. Appreciate it. Another round of applause for us. Thank you for being with us tonight by way of the internet. Glad that you could be here to uh, see the Lipscomb University Gospel Choir. And don't forget to share your story of amazing grace with someone this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Thank you.